can't open it. <laughs> Hi everyone, if you don't know me yet, my name is Ingrida and welcome to my channel. So this video is another exciting review video. You know probably my love for the eyeliners and I spotted this new Makeup Revolution Instant Longwear Black Felt Eyeliner Renaissance Flick. So I needed to get my hands on it and test it out for you. It says it's a long wear eyeliner so we gonna check it out. I'm gonna wear it all day and see if it's really that long wear because I don't know if you have this problem. I have like super 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 hooded eyes and oily skin so sometimes the eyeliner tends to like crumble a bit or like bleed a bit during the day so hopefully this one is actually a long wear eyeliner so far that i like i like a packaging rose gold thumbs up and that it's actually pen because a pen is way much easier to use than the actual liquid eyeliner so i think without any further ado let's open this up okay so that looks better now without that plastic bit on top so pretty so far excited <laughs> can't open it I can't open it. <laughs> I literally can't open it. This is not even a joke. <laughs> Help! <laughs> okay, so... Uh, 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 can't even open it. Can't test it out. No, seriously, come on. I can do this. Oh! Yay! It happened! <laughs> 10 minutes later. I got some on my hands while trying to open, but it's definitely there. So what I like so far of it is a pen. It's definitely packed with a color because we've seen it went all over my hand. So far, when I draw it on my hand, straight away it bleed through to the sides. So hopefully it's gonna be looking good on the eyes. We'll see soon, I guess. All right, let's do this. Just ignore those couple of uh, lash extensions that is left. I had this on for over two months now. I think and some is still holding on. It looks a bit funny but we can deal with that. Okay, so far, super, super, super easy to use. As you see, this pack of the color is not drying out and I need to close it on and open again. And yeah, it's the tip is not too hard, but it's not too soft either, I can't even explain. But it's made out of a sponge, not of a little bristles, which is, I think, easier to use. But yeah, so far, impressed. Oh my god, you guys, so far, really, really, really impressed. It's actually really good. Really, really easy to use, even to navigate around my five pieces of lash extensions that is left. Do you know what? I was so excited about trying this that I totally forgot to contour my eyes a little bit. I mean, what I say contour? I mean, my eyes are super hooded, as you see. So the best is to, you know, darken this part a little bit to create the optical illusion that my hood is actually here, like the crease is here rather than the hood hood. But saying that, I can always do it after I'm gonna apply the eyeliner, so it's not a problem. So I always like to fill in the gaps between my lashes with the tip of the eyeliner and this one is like perfect for that. Alright, so this eye is pretty much done. I'm gonna jump in and do exactly the same with this eye. I mean, apply the eyeliner and contour my eye a little bit using Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade Eyeshadow Palette to give the optical illusion <laughs> so my eyes won't look as good as it is now. And then we're gonna see how it's gonna wear throughout all the day if it's actually any good or not. By the way, it's a heat wave in here now. I'm like sitting sweating in here. And so hopefully if it's actually gonna wear on perfectly a heat wave on my oily skin and my hooded eyes. So a proper wear test. So as I mentioned, I applied the eyeliner on this eye and then contoured my eyes a little bit with this Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Control Light and Shade Palette. And actually this eyeliner already passed one test as I forgot to apply the eyeshadow prior applying the eyeliner. And and I applied it afterwards, I mean the eyeshadow. So sometimes if I do this, the eyeliner tends to bleed or get some bit, you know, messy because of blending and all. But this time, look at that. No bleeding, no nothing. Didn't go smudged or anything. So far, thumbs up, can't complain. So I think I'm gonna wear it for like a good few hours at least and then film the result in the evening and yeah, tell you what I think of it, if it's actually good or not. So I'm gonna apply the mascara and then talk to you soon. 
And I'm back guys. If I look a little bit different, it's because it's a few hours after. Actually, what's the time? It's actually, I've been wearing it for nearly five hours now. So my verdict so far is, it's actually a freaking amazing product. It's super cheap. It's cruelty free brand. The packaging itself is super cute, rose gold. As you've seen, I was really struggling to open it, but now actually it's fine. I think because before it was like a face open, it was properly sealed, so it was hard to open, but now it's totally fine like as you see i'm good with that talking about long wear i've been outside and all and let me tell you something it's a heat wave and it's super super hot outside and my eyeliner is perfectly in place it haven't crumbled there's no lines you know because my eyes are super hooded so sometimes the eyeliner tends to go into like a little lines or crumble in the lines i don't see anything like it's perfectly black you can't see any lines or anything from my hooded eyes it haven't bleeded anywhere where it haven't crumbled yeah can't fail it i mean i can't find any bad thing about it plus it's a pen eyeliner which if you're a beginner is the easiest eyeliner to use and i couldn't recommend for you to go with a pen eyeliner if you are struggling to apply your eyeliner couldn't recommend this more honestly guys can't fail it loving it really really awesome it managed to survive on my super oily skin on the super hot day and my hooded eyes without bleeding or crumbling or anything thumbs up so i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this quick first impressions review wear video <laughs> if so please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more i can't even stress enough how important for me is if you're gonna press the button and subscribe to my channel and yeah i can't wait to share more videos with you guys and i'll see you very very soon and leave a comment down below let me know what you would like me to review next bye